I'm doing an overnight for carp. As you can see there, got my pod set up and importantly, because I can't get bank sticks in, I like to sometimes just fish off, off bank sticks, nice and easy. But I need the pod tonight because it's a, a very hard concrete base that I'm fishing on. So I've got the, uh, the mud feet, which will give me some, uh, some stability. I've got about an hour or so before dark, got this set up. The rods are already in my bag made up. I'm going to bait up now, get them out, and then I'll get the shelter up and uh, bed, chair, sleeping bag, all those sort of things. But first of all, I want to get the rods out. I'm going to be fishing uh, balls of bait, as you can see there. It's a mix. Also some boilies in as well. I'm fishing lobworm 14 mil pop-ups. So I've put a few in with a mix. Going to mix them up. Once I cast out, then I'm going to catapult some bait, uh, some of this mixed bait, around the area, rather than the other way around. So if you put your bait out first, particularly on an overnight when I'm just intending to cast out and not recast every five minutes, uh, if I do it the other way around, and I'll get it in the wrong place, I have to keep recasting, so it's easier to do it that way. I'm not fishing with a marker float or anything like that, so this is the easiest way. Well that's ready to uh, mix into little balls now. You can see there it's nice and, uh, nice and loose, so it's not, it's not uh, firm, so when it does go out, it'll actually uh, hit the water and then break up, so it'll form a, a sort of a, a baited area really for the carp to move in. I'm not keeping my bait in one tight spot, I want it over a, a fairly decent sort of uh, area, maybe a living room size, so that as the fish patrol, quite a warm night, water temperatures quite decent, uh, as the fish patrol move around I want them to, uh, to get in and then start to feed and of course find my pop up, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> first rod ready to cast the bait is in there now that you can see the uh, the boil is got a few boilies in they've been soaking all afternoon in dip and also some pellets as well PVA bag and then when I've cast out I will be fishing the two rods quite close together so I'll slip a, a back lead on because sometimes as well as going away from you and towards you they also kite across so I don't want any uh, any tangles so that's the plan I'm now catapulting the uh, bait out as I said before, and this is my uh, my catapult. As you can see, it's been well repaired and well used over the years. Just bending down to get some more mix, and uh, I've had it to a good number of years. Reminds me of um, the episode in On the Fools and Horses when Trigger says that he's he's had the same broom for all those years. Although he's changed the handle and he's changed the head a few times, and that's the case with this uh, this catapult. The actual body's the same, but the elastics and the, uh, the pouch, they've been changed. 